I like to, to help people. I remember those days when I was living in the bank. You know. um, uh, my boys, they, they studied in ACS. So um, uh, I, I found that they needed some help for some of the children who can't even read, you know. So it, it, I said, no, I mean, I've, I've, I can feel for them, you know, they're not able to read, not able to progress and things. So during my lunch time, you know, I was working in a bank, you know, from Shenton Way, I used to walk down to Coleman Street during my lunch hour, you know, to help the children read. You know, in yeah, school. in school, yeah. Read. And then um, slowly, I, I somehow the connections came with a group of friends where they were helping Cinda a reading program in the community centres. And while working, I, I used to do this service as well. Saffron is uh, Sai Baba's one. They, they, uh, they want a guardian family to help another needy family as a whole, you see. So that was really very good because uh, some of these families, you'd be surprised. They're really, really, you know, they really need a lot of support and encouragement and motive to progress. And there was a case where I even helped um, the family, a single mother, and, and uh, somehow I, I felt very sorry because the children you know, we're were not given the opportunity to concentration at home. So I make sure I, I made them go through the PSLE exams, I gave them private tuition, made them come to my home, you know, and then uh, coach them and they got through the exams. And there was one child where the mother, um, single mother, where the child doesn't go to school, doesn't, you know, and she was already sitting for PSLE. So somehow I felt very tired, I said, never mind, Dude, it's so crucial, let her stay with me, you know. So I housed her here, you know, I felt that she needed it, you know, for one year. Yeah, and then the school was St. Anthony, so I keep communication with the school teachers and all that. So um, uh, from here, I, I got a bus for her to go to school and come back here for lunch, everything like that. Yes. In that group, I was, um, I, my, my direct family was one, but I also became a team head for five others who came in as a guardian family but they needed somebody like a senior like myself to help them along. So I was also mentoring uh, the four families. It was really very bad because the family was really broken down with a child, one daughter, you know, just five years old, but was put in the children's home, the girl's home like that. But no, we went in and then they said, take, take out the child, we'll help her. So she's, they progressed a lot, you know, so at least the family's back together. And um, husband and wife too, you know, they are better now, better, much better now, right? Um, uh, to this day, they still tell me that they always mention my name in their prayers. And um, over the years, I must say, I mean, we still keep in touch, you know. Uh, they all have grown up and all that. And um, there was like um, one family, they are still very much close, you know, keep in touch with me. And uh, in fact, the son got involved in gang fights and all that. He landed up in prisons also. But when they were happy that at least I, I was able to reach out to him, right? So, uh, so I still keep in touch with them. At least two, three families are still in, in communication with me. Like this mother who's got two girls who might help in the PSLE exam. To this day, she, she's, she reaches out to me, she cries to me. Even before I did, got my degree in counseling, I'm mentoring families and all that. You know, uh, whatever's the basic common sense knowledge of people wants care and love, basically that's what they want.